everyone and welcome to KYE Talks. I am Sonal Ambedkar, your host for this interview. Know Your Entrepreneur is a digital platform where we talk to several entrepreneurs who tell us why they chose not to be stuck to the regular 9 to 5, but they went ahead and did something different. Today, the entrepreneur we will be talking to is Mr. Mudit Chaudhary. He is, uh, he is a you know, business enthusiast. He is a runner. He is he's an avid reader and he's completed his MBA from Symbiasis Pune. He is the founder of Jeevan Sandhya. Jeevan Sandhya is a one-stop solution for all the post-demise needs. After the demise of an individual, n number of things are needed. It, there's a lot of need of these things to be taken care of. And it is difficult for the friends and family of the deceased to arrange all of it. It takes a serious mental toll as they cannot moan in peace. The idea of Jeevan Sandhya is to take away all of the hassle of arranging things from the family. And Jeevan Sandhya does that in a very, very kind way. So welcome, Mudit, on KYE Talks, and it's a pleasure for us to have you. Thank you, Sonal. Uh, it is an absolute honor to be here. So, Mudit, tell us, uh, tell us how did your journey begin? So, uh, like when we talk about entrepreneurship in general, you see, I come from a business family. So, entrepreneurship wasn't really a journey which started somewhere. It was a journey I was born with. So, you know, I've been seeing business day in and day out. Uh, my father, his brothers, uh, their children, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone was into business. So, yeah, it wasn't that. And when we talk about Jeevan Sandhya, you know, there's always a lot of competition. When we, when, when we talk about selling cement or selling steel okay. or running an investment firm, there are a hundred other people doing it with hundreds of years of experience okay. and a lot of investment. You cannot really do it. So in such scenarios, it is always better to find a niche for yourself or find a sector wherein Ooh. there's not a lot of competition. So that is how Jeevan Sandhya began. But the, the main point about it was that this is a sol- social entrepreneurship venture, you know. Right. So, so what I realized was that it isn't always necessary to make money only. You can actually help people and the success kind of follows. So in the, when, when, when I thought about Jeevan Sanjay, the main idea was to take away that pain from the yeah. family because yeah. nobody really knows how to handle such situations, you know. And at max, a person experiences one or two such incidents in their entire lifetime. So they don't know what to do. So right. I was like, why no not do this? No one is prepared for it. No one is really prepared and nobody has an idea how to go about it. Like if, if I, if I were to buy a shirt, I've done it a hundred times. So I know what right. the pricing is. Right. What quality so you've experienced that, uh, you know, process of going through buying a shirt, you know, how yes. to go about it. Right. Yes. So that is how Jeevan Sandhya started because, you know, uh, it's, it's a, it's a major pain point in the society and nobody really wants to talk about it. Right. But Talk about it or not talk about it. It is the fact of life. It, it is inevitable. Right, uh, right. E- even in, and people even in avoid post- talking yes. about it. They, yeah, they're not very uh, keen on talking about this topic. But uh, it is something that, you know, does take a lot of effort to, you know, get these things done. And it's it's amazing that uh, you found the opportunity to, you know, give back to the society in the way that you can. Yes. Uh, see, uh, it's it's similar to toilets, you know. Uh, I don't know, a few hundred years ago, back, hundred years back, people weren't really come to toilets in their homes. Right. And then someone did it. Right. And then like, oh my God, this guy is crazy. Why would, right. why, why does he or her, uh, her have a toilet in their own home? Then the toilets came and then someone was like, I'll, I'll make a toilet cleaner. And they would be like, why is this person making a toilet cleaner? Like, why, why address this problem? But these problems need to be addressed and they will be with time. Very, so yeah, very that well said, very well said. Mother. So uh, yeah. was there a defining time when, you know, you decided that, okay, this is, this is what I'm going to go ahead with. See, uh, actually, uh, this struck me because there was a uh, someone in my family passed away, very close person. Okay, right. now, now she was she was the eldest in the family, and mm-hmm. whatever happened prior to her passing away, she used to take care of everyone, everything, and she used to tell everyone what the rituals are, what is to be done, what is not to be done. But when uh, she passed away. Yeah, so my, uh, my, my, it, 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 no, nobody, nobody knew what to do. My, um, like my family, it's a, it's a, it's a very big family. You know, my father has three, uh, two elder brothers, four elder sisters. So it's, it's, it's a lot of, 
That's a very yeah. big family. And so many people gathered, but they didn't know how to go about it. And then yeah. we were making a lot of phone calls and we were like, Ki, uh, kya karna hai, kaise yeah. karna hai. And then people were not, nobody had an exact idea. And uh, it was a big, I don't know, it was a, it was a, it was a problem, you know. Right. So I was like, we have been in the city for three generations. We have so many people around us to take care of everything. And then still we are having such a big problem. How right. do people manage who stay in nuclear families or whose children are outside right. or uh, who are single parents or who are unmarried and, you know, single and etc. Cetera, et cetera. There are a lot of uh, facets to it. Right. So I, right. I was just thinking that how does it happen? So I told my dad. So he was like, maybe you can help them out. You can start yeah. something. And then how, uh, that is how it began. A good thought. I mean, uh, it's true that uh, when when someone close passes away, someone who is mm. known of uh, you know, the rituals and how to go about it. When such a person passes away, then you're left confused or, you know, clueless right. as to what is right. to be right. done. I mean, you are right. already in an emotional state where you can't, you know, handle yourself that well. And then there's mm-hmm. this that you need to worry about. And if someone can come and just take care of that, then you can just be in the moment and, you know, mourn your loved one who's passed away. You see, uh, the trauma... The, right. the trauma that happens, if it is not addressed, then right. it has to be addressed later. later. When you talk about PTSD, right. uh, if, if you do not address it, it will come back to you later. So right. I, I think we should be more sensitive about such things. And, right. you know, people should, everyone should understand as a community that people need to move and they need their time and things need to be taken care of. Yeah, so how can right. we do it? And or to how know can that someone, some, and, and like, uh, it's important uh, when we lose our uh, loved one, as emotional as we are, we want, you know, all the rituals to be done as, mm-hmm. you know, as they are expected to be done. We don't want to lose out on, you know, any of the details of, you know, what the rituals are. Because we, we believe that if we do it right, then the soul of this person will rest in peace. That is what we generally believe. And we don't want to mess up with that. And being in a position, being emotional, being being hit by the trauma and not knowing what to do can also be frustrating. It is sooner. And apart from that, you know, it is a highly unorganized sector. Right. So you see, everything is available in the market. Right. But in order to get everything, you'll have to make 50 phone calls. Right. And then you have to negotiate. And then right. you have to coordinate. And then someone is late. So again, that is like, yeah, uh, ye 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 newspaper mein obituary hai, to obituary ka design banana hai. Right. Uh, 13th day, they want a catering. So they're like, catering mein kya hoga? Catering Why, right, right. what should we do? So, you know, the, there are a lot of things and then they have to talk to so many people and su- uh, somewhere along the supply chain, things get broken. So everything right. is not done on time. Right. And, uh, and some and people don't person- turn up. Should a person, you know, concentrate on their emotions in the moment or yes, be, yes, you yes. know, held up doing all this work because it, it needs to be done. Someone needs to correct, correct. right? Yes. So, yes, yes. Uh, Mudit, uh, you have completed your MBA from Symbiosis and uh, if I'm not mm-hmm. wrong, you're also currently studying something. It's the stock market. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, my in my family, education is extremely valued. So, sure. and, you know, skill, skill, right, skill right. upgradation skill upgradation is something that uh, nobody really wants to compromise on because everyone has heard of the dodo bird so when we talk about investments there's a serious like we have this conversation as a family that we can always open a tap and to fill a bucket but if there's a hole in the bucket it won't make sense so if you're doing something if you're doing business and you do not know how to manage everything if you do not know how to make your investments right it doesn't make sense to do any of it because a normal FD gives you a return of 6%. Inflation is at 4%. Okay. And then there's tax. So basically in, in the end, you you're end, you end up with 1% per year, which is, in fact, you're getting poorer year on year if right. you're just doing that. So you have to understand how to do things. So I, I'm st- currently studying the technical analysis of securities. So basically, uh, which is also that. a skill that, that is really valued if, if you learn it once. Yeah, so I, I so I, I'm studying it for myself. Uh, I do not want to uh, do it professionally for someone else as of now. I haven't thought about it, but I'm really enjoying it, uh, seeing the trends and everything. And uh, Indian capital, Indian capital markets, you know, 
it's amazing it's amazing like you look at the markets they go up and down and things happen like it it it, it, it no one it every day is a moment like who would have thought right. you know so although it is enticing and uh, it, it looks like a way that uh, to make quick money but it really isn't if uh, people do not understand or if the professionals are not there to handle it right. and one last reason i just tell you that why did i join it because i i i took really i took an avid interest like how do things happen why do they happen right why is this this way so i was like dad i want to invest and do this and do that so he was like uh, if you have a car would uh, either you drive it after loaning it or you give it to a professional called a shopper to drive it right right i was like yes so he was like over here the car is your capital yeah so what makes you think that you can drive it without learning how to drive it or not employing a professional which in which in case is a uh, you know investment person Makes or a hedge, hedge hedge fund company or a mutual fund or someone right. who knows how to get the job done and driving a car it is complex but not as complex as dealing with the indian capital markets right. so okay. it, it is so always learning, better that, learning was the yes, better yes. option Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, uh, you coming back to Jeevan Sandhya and your entrepreneurial journey. When was you uh, like? When was it that you started it? How old were you when you started with Jeevan Sandhya? See, uh, I had thought of it uh, when I was uh, pursuing my undergraduate degree from Kolkata, but I was studying back then, and I I, I hadn't really sorted out my career path. back then I, i was confused i wanted to do a lot of things and i didn't know what to do actually right. but this was right. a thought so the inception had begun back then it was a uh, year 2009 uh, 17 and 18 beginning okay okay that time frame after that i went to for my mba and over there we had a project like uh, initially the uh, picture business plan you know uh, make a project make a business plan and everything and everything so over there uh, i started with jeevan sandhya i called it after glow back then so i i wrote after glow and then i made the project and everything you and made then, a business plan yes and uh, while i was present yes so while i was presenting it Who i were you i don't, I don't know to? a panel uh, a okay. professors okay so while, while i was presenting it i do not know whether the professors were convinced or not but i was that okay. this can happen that's really you understand <laughs> yes so i was convinced that yes this, this can, can happen this is not, this can work Right. so that is how it began and then uh, two years i was just thinking about it talking to the professors i went to for a few competition pitched the idea uh won a couple of competitions then i realized okay people are liking the sound of it and this is a serious need in the market yeah uh, yeah yes. no one is you know talking about it or taking this yes. ahead when one yes. one can actually do something in it yeah right police so. yes and i so, mean uh yeah. even though it's a sensitive uh, you know concept it mm-hmm. is a concept that has a lot of potential for like like you started a biz- business out of it yes and it's it's not just a business for profit it's it's also helping the society and it's a way of helping people who are mourning the death of right 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 right, right 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 yes so mudit yes, i yes. would uh, usually ask what gives you a sense of accomplishment but rather i would like to ask you what gives you you know satisfaction at the end of the day uh, like as an a, entrepreneur when when you are running a business we we hmm. all as humans are living hmm. our lives looking for that kind of content or satisfaction hmm. every day right. we are looking for it that is what we seek as an entrepreneur right. also that is what you an entrepreneur seeks so what would you say gives you that satisfaction see uh, when when i when i do this when i when i like when we talk about business entrepreneurship and jeevan sandhya specifically there are two parties involved when i am dealing excluding me one uh, the family where the incident has happened right. the other is the vendor who will do something about it right. okay now now you need to understand that the family in which this has happened is in a very vulnerable and a very sensitive state right okay so you have to deal with them very carefully your choice of words should be like you have to choose your words right. really really careful uh, carefully because the chances of uh, us sounding insensitive is very high right now this is one part of it right the other part is the vendor part okay now the vendors like nobody really appreciates 
or nobody really knows what they are doing and then the gap the communication gap and everything between the right. vendors and the family is right. very it's huge it's huge like communication is a very big problem right so when the process is done smoothly the when the vendors get their due and they are happy and they understand and they feel respected and when the family is happy and they are like okay sab shanti se ho gaya we are happy about it right. we, are, we, are, we are calm there, there's yeah. no hassle about negotiating right. or anything then that is when i feel satisfied yes that the good job was done right so so if, 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 if there's I a mismatch of that yes yes, yes. So if, if that happens i'm happy i'm satisfied wonderful so uh, mudit when you started with jeevan sandhya it was such a new concept you know to you know uh, start an an entrepreneurship in this field it was so mm-hmm. new that and and we know that this country or say a lot of uh, this society in general is not very accepting of you know new ideas it takes mm-hmm. a while for new ideas to you know uh, be accepted in the society and you know be uh, owned so uh, mm-hmm. when you started out were there any kind of uh, obstacles or challenges that you faced and and uh, how did you overcome them? see overall the people who really mattered and people who i think were accomplished people and still they were they were really supportive so that didn't matter apart from that when we talk about uh, society in general like i'm not comparing myself to anyone but uh, when the legends were i don't know is it called autopsy when they were cutting dead bodies to yeah. understand the human body the yeah. anatomy of the body human anatomy anatomy yeah. human anatomy they were abused like why are you cutting dead bodies and uh, then uh, and then uh, 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 when sanitary pads were coming in people were abusing that why why is this why are these things coming in right. and then the sanitary pads were giving in black plastics but right. can we is the society can the society function without them anymore mm-hmm. and uh, when when the hospital started uh, people were like uh, why to deal in diseases Right. they are contagious bimar aadmi ko kyu haath lagana hai what can we do without hospitals no. and uh, and uh, again coming so there are uh, when you look at these things when you start making a list of things uh, which were not so which were not acceptable right. uh, yeah the list now we can't you, live without them you you cannot simp- yeah. people simply cannot live without them with before page industries the maker of jockey underwear came into the picture the underwear was sold as contraband like contraband in black plastics kya ho gaya yeah so then they came and then they advertised and then it was like it is okay to wear underwear you need underwear right right now now is there is there a problem talk about talking about underwear anymore no. no right so that is how the acceptance comes acceptance comes in and see yeah, this I is an effort it's a little while but uh, but then once yes. we once we see the importance of it then then it uh, then it goes hand in hand everything goes hand right so see uh, it is an effort right if it clicks and if the society is accepting and uh, people like the idea of it great if it doesn't in the long run at least we try right, right. to solve a problem that's the we have nothing to lose yeah so we we don't really have anything to lose over here right so yeah it's all good yeah so mudit uh, whenever you 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 know uh, been there to take care of a family that's mourning a loved one's death after all of that is done after all the rituals are taken care of after every all the you know all, all the needs of this family is taken care of they must be coming and giving you a feedback so can you share any feedback that you know must have stuck with you or you you that felt that oh yeah i'm doing the right thing honestly honestly uh, you see the rituals end in 10 to 13 days okay right but the person does not recover in 10 to 13 days right and uh, so you cannot expect uh, the person after 13 days to text you or call you and give you a feedback right and it it, it is insensitive on our part to call and ask for a feedback right so you have to collect a feedback by providing the service you have to understand if the person is okay with the service and everything and everything they then won't they are, right then they're happy yeah they they're, they're satisfied 
Yeah. It's like, you know, when you're going to a restaurant, initially, uh, every person, the, ser- the serving person would come and ask whether you're enjoying it, whether the food is good and everything and everything. And when you're having a very serious conversation and that thing kind of irritates you. Right. Yes, it is good. So then what did restaurants start doing? They started standing on the side and they started observing people. Like, do they look happy? Uh, are they eating the food? Do they look happy? So, yeah. So then they get a fair idea. Yes, that's this person. Right. Is so it's this, about this observing. Food. It, it is more about observation. Right. Observing from a distance. Apart from that, uh, we were covered by a uh, Bengali daily last week. Uh, okay. They did an, they did a story on us. They put out an article. And the next day, I received around 10, 15 phone calls from 70 plus people in the city. And they were really happy. And they were like, uh, they were like, uh, we didn't know that this is there. And we're really relieved to know. So that is the feedback and, and they were like, now we have peace of mind. So they were, the, uh, one person, uh, the uncle was like, can I have, please have your phone, a uh, personal phone number in case your business phone is not working. I told him that this is a 24 seven hotline. This will be available. So, but, but he was like, I'll be more comfortable if I have your number so that I can call you okay. or my, someone can call you. I was like, okay, you take my phone number. Then I give him one more phone number. So like if in case there's ever a problem, you can give me a call. So when I was receiving these phone calls, I was I was understanding that even if I'm not there to help, at least there's a psychological support that right, people don't right. feel scared. Yeah, we are we are there for you. Don't worry. Yeah? Because that is the so, most yeah. you know uh, most uh, emotionally sensitive period in a person's life, losing a loved one. Yes, yeah. And then they're then they're, mm-hmm. they're too like you said they're vulnerable and then they're too scared to you know get it wrong in any way. Yes. They want everything yes, yes, to yes, be yes. done as nicely as perfectly that as it can be. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. So, uh, Mudit, uh, coming from an uh, you know uh, a business family, as you mentioned. Uh, when you pitched this idea to your family, how did they react to it? How, what was their say? Or, uh, I mean, uh, when you pitched your idea, what did, what did they say? What did they feel that how, how you know, beneficial this can be to the society and even to you as a businessman? They were, they were, they were really supportive. They were like, go ahead with it. They, See, uh, there's a saying, no matter how, how much analysis you do, what kind of tests you run, you do whatever you have to, but you have to go on the ground and play in order right. to know. Right. Field work is important. And then you know. Yes. If you, if you, then you know. It's like you cannot watch uh, cricket tutorials on TV and learn how to bat like the right, right. You have to go on the pitch and uh, in the nets, right? Right. So they were like, you go for it. Give it a try. No problem. Wonderful. So uh, you 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 found an idea. It was more like an observation that you made from your own experience that there's a you know lack of uh, help or there's a lack of service in this sector, and and that mm. void can be filled. And then you right. took you took that opportunity, you grabbed that opportunity, and you you did your you put your efforts and tried to fill up that void. So so that is exactly what an entrepreneur does. That is an entrepreneurial mm-hmm. you know uh, mm-hmm. spirit. When you see right. there is there's a void in the market and you see that maybe if you try it, if, if you if you brainstorm over it and you can fill that void and you mm-hmm. go about it. That is how something new comes in the market. Like you said, a lot of ideas weren't accepted, but someone thought that there's a void of this and it needs to be filled. Right. And they tried to fill right, it. Right. And then now right, we can't right. live without it. And I think your idea of Jeevan mm-hmm. Sandhya has uh, a lot of potential in it going ahead because... Uh, such emotional times, such sensitive times is when we need someone that we can really rely on for all these, you know, right. uh, so things to be taken care of. And, and to know that, you know, there's someone who is going to be uh, doing all of it, responsibly taking care of it. That, that's a moral support. Then there's thoda sa shanti bhi milta hai, man ko. Correct. That's correct. It. Yes. 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 So, wonderful that you're doing. So, Mudit, uh, how would you say that this venture, mm. I mean, when you started out, uh, mm. were you kind of a different person? And after you've been in this for like this long and having, you know, dealt with so many, like you said, that you have to be sensitive. Your choice of words matters when you're talking to mm. these families. So that is a skill you must have had to learn over time. So how would right. you say that this entire journey has changed you as a person as to how you were before Jivan Sandhya and how you are now? See, uh, 
uh, honestly it hasn't been very long uh, after i started out but uh, i have understood a few things that it doesn't happen startups and business it doesn't happen like it, they show it in the movies like it doesn't happen like everything that the action shown in the movies doesn't really happen in real life Right. So I understood that things take time. You have to be really, really patient, and you have to be grounded. When when starting out, we are you like we making calculations that this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. This market, that market, captured, conquered, etc., etc. But when we actually get on the ground in forty degrees and roam around and on the streets with extreme levels right. of humidity. it kind of starts wavering you know right. so i just understood that things take time you need to be patient you need to be positive right. you need to be empathetic people 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 will give you business like if you sound sure on the right. phone and if you right. are empathetic towards them like if you right. really understand what they where they are coming from right. because generally people are, are like when they speak half a sentence the service provider speaks three sentences Right. not knowing understand not understanding what they are actually trying right. to say say right yeah so i i just think i become a more patient person and a more grounded person i i'm not very i i don't feel anxious anymore i'm not running ahead of myself uh, self anymore i'm just right. very calm that way yeah that is that's wonderful that's wonderful yes i mean yes. you are uh, whatever you are doing you you have that kind of content within you which is why you are calm Mm, yes, 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 yes. I'm happy. I'm happy with doing what I'm doing. That's wonderful. So, uh, Mudit, from a businessman's point of view, what mm. would be your message to you know give to our audience, to budding entrepreneurs who could be having an idea, but like they may 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 be thinking that oh no one's done anything in this field before, so should I do it? Will it be accepted? Will will my idea you know be uh get the kind of Uh, attention that it will need to become successful so they must be having certain doubts within their mind so how would you tell them or how would you encourage them to you know try it out take that first step sonal honestly uh, i am a budding entrepreneur you know yeah i, <laughs> I haven't i haven't uh, reached that stage yet to give that sort of an advice i am a part of the pack But so uh, tell when, us something I, that maybe yes. uh, some enlightenment that your dad may have shared with you that has stuck with you, and which is why so, you know you felt the again encouragement. Again, again. So I, I, I'll leave him out. I'll okay. just say that I'm a part of the pack, right? I feel yes. unsure about doing things. I'm not confident whether I should do it or not. Yes. I think like people have no one has done it. Should I? Should I not? So all these things come to my mind, right? Yes. So I just tell them. like what do we have to lose see the easiest way is that we can make a website okay and we can add a google analytics plugin in it right. okay and just let it float on the internet and see how many people are actually looking for it right. so we'll have a fair idea that idea, are people looking right. for it are people are people looking for it okay right now i'll uh, they can give their phone number and then they can talk to one supplier or just one person who can do it and then they get a phone call they call this person and then they can just supply one right i don't know if they're dealing in biscuits just one uh, just a packet of biscuits right. okay and then the confidence will build up okay i can do slowly, it yeah and slowly yeah slowly 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 and steadily it will come but again as i said uh, have to get on the ground right Wonderful, Mudit. Uh, thank you for coming here, joining us here on KYE Talks, and sharing your journey. Also, your insightful thoughts about you know, uh, if you see a void and if you feel that you can fill it out, you should try it. Unless you try yes. it, you don't know. And and then what do you have to lose? Wonderful. Correct. Thank yes, you for coming uh, here. Yes, Sunil. The pleasure was all mine. I had a wonderful time, and I wish KYE all the all the success. Oh, and we, uh, we also, uh, you know, wish uh, Jeevan Sandhya to. Uh, we wish to see it, you know, going ahead because that is something that was a void that was there in the society, and it's it's yeah. great knowing that you, you know, took that first step without scaring, mm. without being scared, or without being feared of how accepted you will be or not. You just took that first step, and you're just, you know, going ahead with the belief mm. that this is going to work out. That's wonderful. So thank you thank you sonal uh yeah it was a pleasure